Hello everyone, this is Matt the Speedstar here, ready to run through some more Hyrule Warriors! Last time, we took on the last of Link's weapons, the Spinner, in true partners, and had a pretty fun time with it. Now, we move on down the list to Impa with her last weapon to show the Naginata in the scenario, Evil Power. Now, I'm just gonna make this kind of brief. The Naginata. Much better than the Giant Blade. Just pretty much... Yeah, just pretty much... Much better than the Giant Blade. That's... Okay, okay, fine. I'll elaborate on it when I get into battle. But even so, the Naginata. Once you get this, you might as well have Impa use this for the, the rest of whatever Yeah, have to play through with her. Unless it calls for the giant blade, in which case you'll have to use that. Anyway, let's go. Defeat the enemy captains in time. Now, for the Naginata, like I said, it's pretty much better. What you want, what you want to do is you want to just continue the attacks. Continue the attacks, and you can kind of trap characters in a regular combo, and just really rack up the damage if you can. But, it's not just that. The Naginata is also a lot better than the fact that it has much, much more range. Much more range and variety. You can go after factions of enemies, too. Wanna know how to probably do that? Special attack. Special attack, special attack, special attack. That's how you're taking down factions of enemies. Although, some combos can work, but, uh, the combos in that are more or less something you rather attack one enemy with. Oh, oh, yes! Perfect chance! That's one captain down. Now I gotta take on the rest. Actually, uh, the thing is, you are forced to, uh, lose, to fail this mission. You cannot succeed this mission no matter what. And if you can, tell me how. Because I'd like to know. Anyway, the Naginata. Yeah, you, you, you attack much faster than you normally do with the Giant Blade. And you're able to trap your foes in combos. And it's harder for them to get their guard up. Although that can probably be situational. Ah! Ow! But yeah, just being able to constantly... Oh god, Dark Beam! Just being able to trap an enemy in a combo and just keep the assault going, that's something that you really want. That's something that you really want in this game. That and uh, the Giant Blade had... It had more time in between attacks. This weapon doesn't. Again, that's how you trap your foes. Special attacks overall good, and when you get Focus Spirit going, oh man, your enemies are gonna wish they never met you. Whoa! Whoa! Now, of course, you can do more than just spam special attack in that. You do have your other combos, and some of them are quite good. I say some of them, but again, that's situational. Come on. Okay, I guess there's like one thing I could probably say that kind of knocks the weapon down a little bit. Uh, how, how will I put it? Oh, by the way, yeah, you will always fail this mission unless you somehow manage to, well, defeat all the enemy captains in time, in which, again, let me know, because I would like to know about this. Now, yeah, um, where was I going? Alright, I remember now. The combos, most of them are better suited for one enemy. Kind of like with the giant blade, but just better. It's better folks for one enemy, but you can get more of them. Just not a whole lot. 
and, well, considering how fast you attack, you may have a hard time trying to get the right combo finisher that you want. So I guess this, the attack frequency can be problematic. I don't find it as such. But I just find that being able to attack quicker and more frequently, that's kind of what you want. That way your enemies aren't going to be able to get a chance to get an attack in on you while you're trying to wind up that one important attack. Ah, there we go. Whoa, hey. Did that? Dark... Yeah, Dark Wizard just grab me! Ah, no! I've been comboed! I have been comboed by Kyrium and Dark Wizro! Uh-oh. I... Th I think I found something that's much more annoying than Dynaphos. A combo between these two. Oh boy. Now, the reason I'm not no going... The, the reason I'm not going for Sia is because I'm trying to prolong the video just a little bit, and I'd rather have everyone taken down, pretty much. Well, actually, there's one other dark character. There's a dark ball guy. Ah! Oh, yeah, I guess I should probably mention that a good way to not only trap a foe... Ooh, level up, nice. A good way to trap a foe and do a lot of damage to them is just finish up a regular combo and then move immediately into a strong attack. Because the last... Ooh, a bit of slowdown. Yeah, the last attack of the regular combo has Impa throw the Nagi not at quite a distance. Yes, you have much... You, have, you just have that much better range with this weapon. Combo finishers and pretty much overall. But yeah, after you've made the final attack, do a strong attack and summon flame pillars, and you will do extra damage to them. The strong attack is, I guess you could say, a little weird, because you have to get enemies from a distance, unlike the giant blade in which you can just rush an enemy. I guess that's one redeeming quality of the giant blade, but yeah, other than that, I... Like I said, much better... This weapon, much better than the giant blade. Oh yeah, and Sia's just about to go down. And with that, she's done. Now, if I just went for uh, Sia right away, I would have finished this a lot quicker. Didn't want it because I want to give the video a little length so I can give my two cents about a weapon. That is very fun to use, and just infinitely looks much better with Impa than a big giant blade that was made by Gorons and surprisingly uses powers with water. Yeah, I never really get that. Why does a weapon forged by the Gorons have powers over water than fire? I don't get that. But anyway, victory. Like I said, the weapon just fits Impa much better than a big giant sword. Honestly, that's Cloud's thing. <laughs> yes, I kind of had to do that. Ooh, that's a nice flesh render fang right there. Too bad I can't show it off. Because I already did in the Let's Play. But anyway, that is it for Impa's weapons. So, next time on Hyrule Warriors... We're going to go to the next illustration scenario, the last one of the regular ones, in fact, with Lana and her final weapon, the Summoning Gate. So, thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like. If you wish to follow along this and my other Let's Plays, click the top right box to subscribe. Any concerns come up, I'll let you guys know on my Twitter. Additional info on the lower left box in the video and down in the description below. This has been Matt the Speedstar, and I'll see you guys next time when we run through some more Hyrule Warriors.